Hey guys, it looks like if Goomba is really done. He wants to fly his wings. He wants to spread his wings and fly away, honey. Because Goomba and Jaguar had a conversation this morning on IG. And he told her in no uncertain terms, he is done. Done, the done, done, done. He also did a video separate, independent of his wife and he spelt out in no uncertain terms that she's to leave his family alone she keeps calling out his mother father earring stuff that are not true but before we got to the first video i i wanted to play the second one where he told her not to uh, call up his family's name anymore and he was almost in tears because he said you know he's really tried He's, he's had his bad moments, yes, and he did some wrongs, yes, but he said he was patient. He really was trying to make this marriage work. That's why he stuck it out. And, you know, I, I just felt him to be genuine in this particular moment because I know when people are really trying to make a marriage work, they go through some crap and they put up with crap. And so I think he's pretty much done. I would be surprised if he goes back. But here's the second video footage, and then I will play the first one. What's good? What's good? 14 people here. Doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, I'm going live today too. Yeah, I got a message for you, Miss Jaguar, right, Johnson? I'm tired. I'm tired of you bringing my family into this, who have nothing to do with us. Stop bringing my mom, my dad, my sister, my brother into your mess. I'm nowhere around them. So you think I'm with them and you want to sit there, try to throw them up under the bus? Stop exposing, trying to expose my family, yo. Because you mad. You disrespectful, evil, lying. Then you try to set me up, talking about you went up there to go get put paperwork on me. Maybe I should have those witnesses that you said that I was going to be laying in a pool of blood. That you got to shoot me because I'm playing with you. Maybe I should have them go sit there and talk to the police department and put a restraining order or protective order on you for me. That's why I ain't around. I'm not about to play with my life. You heard what that lady said. You better not bring her name up or some stuff was going to go happen, right? Mm. Is, that, is, that what, is that why you went to the Jamaican spot pretending that you was going to... The Jamaican dude... You gonna trick off, and then you promised everybody you gonna go home and beat the family, and you ended up at the Soto jail and got yourself locked up. Class A misdemeanor, huh? Resisting arrest, huh? Disorderly conduct, huh? Yeah, oh, I, I guess Goomba did that one too, huh? Keep my family's name out your mouth, Jackie. I am done with you. Business will business. And it is businessing. And open up that Wells Fargo app that's in your phone. I guess you're so used to me opening up and tell you how much is in the account. So guys, you heard him. She's got money in a Wells Fargo app in her account. I don't know if she opened it. But apparently that's where the money is at. Now I don't know if he just put it in there or not. But he's telling her that's where the money is. But you don't need me, right? Remember you said that in front of Legina, you don't need me, right? Remember you, you're going to divorce me, right? So it sounds like if Jaguar was very loose with her mouth in front of Legina, just defaming and demeaning her husband, and he's had it. He said, that's it. I'm done. I'm a bitch-ass nigga, right? I'm beneath you, right? It's not the order that it goes... The husband, the wife, the child, the dependents. No, in your eyes, it's the wife, 
and everybody else below, even God. You lost a good one, babe. You lost a good one. And that shit hurt. Because I tried. I tried. I was so patient. So kind. Don't get me wrong. I have my, I have my days. But I apologize and I worked hard. I'm getting shit to put back together. Like I said before, Goomba was almost in tears. He was really showing his emotion in this minute. Why are you doing this? Stop this mess, man. Stop this mess. I'm done. I can't do this shit no more. I can't do this shit no more. Leave my family alone. Okay, that's where that second video ended. But the thing is, Goomba has got to realize and understand what mental illness is all about when somebody's way off the deep end. She admits to be using drugs. She smokes weed, she says, laced with fentanyl. That's heavy, heavy drugs, okay, that fentanyl. And you can become addicted. On top of that, she's got all these mental issues. So when she spazzes out, she really goes off the deep end. And there's no controlling her until... They put her somewhere like a jail for her to calm down and give her some meds. But, the, you know, a lot of people don't understand this mental illness. All right? It's not something that you can fix overnight. It's constant work. Medications also have to be regulated. Maybe she, maybe she needs her medications regulated. Anyway, guys, let's move on to the first video that came out where Jaguar was having a conversation with Gerald over the phone. And... He hung up on her about three times. And she had the folks from Real Life Stars production. She was over where they are, and she wanted a meeting with them, herself, and Gerald. Goomba wasn't having it. He was not going to be involved. He hung up the phone, washing his hand. Let's listen to that. So we hear kids or a kid in the background. So she's not over at her mother's house. It looks like if she's at real life productions, somebody's house over there. Because she did say real life stars. And the people were right, were right there talking to her. And they wanted to and the guy wanted to talk to Goomba. So I think maybe she's holed up at their place. With Angela. Because later on you're going to see or you're going to hear where she calls Angela to verify certain things. So both of them are these people's home. And it could be she's moving from place to place not to outstay her welcome. Because you guys know if you're at anybody's place for too long, they get good and tired of you. So maybe she's moving around. See, we up to life. We getting ready for work. That nigga's still Shit. Why do you keep hanging up on me? Why do you keep snapping at me? I'm not calling to argue with you. I'm calling to talk to you. And you're already prepared for a fight. Yes. Hello? What do you mean? What is it? Why can't you speak to me kindly? Why can't you be decent? Why uh, are you a This is so stupid. Three times in a row. 
I just want to let you know I recorded this call and I'm about to post it online so people can hear what kind of fucking idiot you really are. I thought you said she wanted to talk to him nicely. Oh my goodness. That's not how you talk nice. If you really want a dialogue with a person, you don't start cussing them out. You listen and then you respond. Give me my fucking money back, bitch! Or I'm going to the cops. And I am. Charlie, your son is about to go to jail for you. He Charlie, think I'm you playing with him. Yeah, your son is about thing. to go to jail for you, Charlotte. Mm -hmm. See, he's trying to upset me, so I'll go running to him. I think Jaguar read that the wrong way. He wasn't trying to upset her so she can come running back. Goomba said he's not even home. That's what I got out of that conversation. He's not home with his mother and his family. So he don't know why she's attacking them. They're not harboring him. He is gone. And he's not about to come back. That's what that sounds like. So no, he was not trying to pull her back in for her to be missing him. He's sending her a clear message which she is not getting. And I don't know what's wrong with, this is a little sidebar, what's wrong with real life productions? Um, uh, Shaka or whoever, the guy Zumba or what, whoever his name is. You do not have your child around this type of madness, okay? It's bad energy for that child. That child should have never been present with all this cussing and fighting. It takes on an uh, energy of its own when kids are around, they absorb all that madness, all that stuff. And then you see them acting out because they're like a sponge. They learn everything. So you do not have kids around this type of behavior. That child should have been in another room, not hearing all this mess. What he's mad about is that I haven't asked to see him. I don't need that. I don't need that at all. Fuck him. And I mean that. Fuck any nigga that try to get in, in, in between what me and God got going on. He's supposed to be a Christian. And yet he tries to stop and undermine everything that I do. Don't that sound like he working for the devil? I don't know. Let's listen to the rest of the call because that was the voicemail that I left. <coughs> and then there was another call. He called right back after he... Hello? Hello? We're having a meeting today. The whole team. The team. Now you don't know what team you're a part of? Philadelphia and real life street stars. Why are you talking to me like this? Why are you talking to me like this? What? Everything that you're doing is beneath me. Like even this, what you're doing right now is beneath me. told her to go check a particular bank account and he asked her if she had checked it and she said huh you know like if she didn't check it 
And that's why he hung up because he was so disgusted. To everybody else online, but this is how he really acts. He hung up because he just realized someone else was listening. Mm. Now tell me that don't sound like a big grown ass overgrown, overgrown kid. This is kid shit. You sitting here playing all of these games with people's fucking time. The one that I pretended I was going to have sex with online, live on Sean Davy Way show and on Instagram to piss him off. So now she's saying that it was a bluff when she offers sex for food in that Jamaican restaurant. She's saying that it was a bluff to piss Gerald off. Well, let me tell you something, ladies. You do not ever bluff like that because it makes you look like a cheap prostitute. And that's what she's looking like now. Because when she offers sex for food, she said she had not done that in a while. She did not have to resort to that in a while. So that let me know right away that she did it before. How is her husband supposed to trust her after she sat down there in that Jamaican restaurant and told the guy, let's go to the back. You want me to go to the back? You don't want nothing from me? You mean there's nothing? You know, I'm willing. All that foolishness. Even if it was a bluff, she looked like a cheap prostitute. You ain't even exchanging sex for a couple of thousand. You exchanging sex for a plate of food. Ain't nothing happened. He's just an artist. Hi, Gerald. And I told him I was. I was like, well, I did it to make you jealous. Gerald, we just I guess decided worked. to start without you. Fuck you, bitch! I can't trust you. Okay. The reason why you guys are hearing her talking in two separate sentences or dialogues is because she's actually talking to Shaka and she is recording on a separate phone. So it's it's two different conversations going. That that's Gerald. This is the real Gerald. The real you. Gerald. What is it with some YouTubers that they got to go live with their personal marriage information and all the business? Nothing is private. Nothing is sacred. Everything got to be online for the world to see. If you and your husband, you and your wife are fighting, why hear that on national TV for everybody to see it? Because you want to make a quick buck with YouTube for that monthly check? YouTube has destroyed a lot of family. Instagram... Twitter, social media in general have destroyed families. When are people going to learn that? Do not air your business, your personal business. If you and your husband are fighting, you and your wife are fighting, don't air that on national TV because everybody's going to have an input. Everybody's going to have a say. Everybody's going to have an opinion. And you or your husband is going to gravitate to one of those opinions. And you're going to be following people's opinions and not your own mind. So don't air that on national TV. People will not learn, though. He's killing himself. <laughs> He's ruining. He, all he does is ruin relationships and run. Mm. Ruin relationship, run. Ruin relationship, run. Ruin relationship, run. And then when the relationship comes back to face him, I don't know you. I never met you. That's that nigga. That's the nigga he really is. It's so fucking pathetic. Honey, if you want to talk to me, how about you talk to me right now online? What about in private, Jaguar Wright? What about in private? You don't have to hear all your business on internet to make that coin. Do it in private. In that way, we'll know that you're really working on your marriage. But don't be 
every little fight you gotta draw for the camera we can go live right here and then people can meet the real you they can see see i've been sparing you this for the past four years covering for you covering for you yeah i'm here now hi good morning and since you want to record everything that's yeah, I do. Clearly, everything. I need to record everything because you're you're so disloyal and so oh, distrusting. You're disloyal and you're so distrusting. How? And you're, you're gonna go fuck a How am I disloyal? You trying to go suck some dick so you can feed your family when you ain't got no fucking food because you living off my motherfucking check? Have you checked? Oh, I wasn't living off of your are check. You didn't have any check. Are your you check had been spent out weeks ago. All we do me? is live on my money, and you know that, and I can prove it. But what I am going to do after I finish this live, I'm going to take the text thread on the past 24 hours, and I'm posting it online so people can see how you talk to me, how you treat me in your own words. This is the last words I have to say to you. I'm done with you. Okay. Guys, when he said he was done with her, she was like caught like with a deer in the headlights. She like didn't know what to say. And then she recovered. And then she said, okay. But she was kind of shocked to hear it coming from him again. Because she heard it through the grapevine when he told Sean Davey Bay that he was done and he wants a divorce. But this coming from him, telling her directly in person, you know, directly, she was shocked. And enough is enough. People can only take but so much. Like I said, he's ready to fly, honey. Fly like a bird. See? That's the real him. Now, everything else that I have to say is directed to Charlotte Johnson. Charlotte Brown. Johnson, this is what you've done to your son's mind. This is what you've done to his life. He is now about to be arrested for assault and battery, terroristic threats, grand larceny, stalking, cyber stalking, and a couple other things that y'all don't know about. I've been the keeper of your secrets, Gerald. I protected you, Gerald. I tried to protect you from your family because they're really the fucking worst human beings ever. They're just terrible. You're the best of them, and I've always told you that. But you're so busy trying to get their approval and trying to get their loyalty that you're willing to sabotage our company, my company, actually. You know, everything is mine, Gerald. I just allowed you to be a part of it. I never wanted anyone to accuse you of living off of me, so I hired you when I gave you a title, which by the way, you don't live up to. It's 9 a.m. Everybody's here ready for work and you're wherever you are cursing and being mad and talking about me sucking some Jamaican stick. Maybe I should. That was a joke just to piss you off. Maybe I really should go get me some hot Jamaican dick and it won't be the guy at the store. You know exactly who I'm talking about. The plastic surgeon, the world-class drummer, loved me very much. And I dumped him for you. Now Jaguar is stalking and saying stuff to make Goomba jealous. But you, <laughs> Goomba is not jealous, in my opinion. After you got out there and say you were willing to suck a D for food, he's not jealous. Trust and believe. He knows that you were willing to prostitute yourself a couple of days ago to eat. So he's not jealous. He's over it. He's done. Your coochie probably got cobwebs right now, okay? For all he knows, it's a haunted house. He ain't coming back. I would be surprised if he comes back. Much like how much better my life would have been if I had married Antonio. If I had waited and just married Antonio and not, and, and not done you. My company would have been a hell of a lot further than it is right now. He's a fucking doctor. He's a surgeon. What are you, Gerald? Oh, yeah. You're what I made you. There she goes again, belittling him. 
you're what I made you. So if he had stayed, and even if he comes back, this is the way she's going to treat him because she feels as though she made him. He's nothing without her. You can't be married to a person like this. I'm sorry. You can't even live with the individual because they're going to, they're going to make you feel like shit constantly because they feel that they made without you, without them, you nothing. They feel as though they made you. So being in a relationship with this type of individual is pointless. You may as well cut your losses, move on to the next one and hope that you learned enough from the previous relationship so you won't make the same mistakes like marrying a person three weeks after meeting them and don't know squat about them. Charlotte, your son fit going to go to jail, Charlotte, and then you and your con artist husband are going to be going right with him. Mm, my, my, my. Maybe I should go down to Austin, Charlotte. Who that? Oh, that, that's... Answer it. Answer it. Hello? Hello? Hey. Who's this? This is Gerald. You don't know my number? Well, no, it came up as Jaguar on, um... On Ed's phone. What? What? No, you called Ed's phone. This is Ed's oh, phone. I called Monica's phone. I, I called Monica's phone. <laughs> no, this is Ed's phone. Well, um, yeah, this is this is my kid's wife. Well, then I guess you um put the wrong, you programmed it the wrong way. Joe, you don't even know who you calling? Shaka sitting right here laughing at you because you sound like a whole fucking nut. See, this is what happens. You went down to that shop and you bought all that weed with fentanyl in it from Bobby and now it done fucked up your mind. All that fucking weed with fentanyl from Bobby done fucked up your mind. Because that's what we, we all was smoking that fentanyl weed that day at the barbershop when I got fucking beat up. You, you been smoking that fentanyl weed and it done fucked up your mind. Shaka here. Talk to your friend. Talk to your friend. See, he's he trying to protect everybody. He want to protect his mama, his daddy, his sister, his brother. He want to protect Bobby. What about his wife? What about his wife? He worried about sick. Is he, he calling? Did he just call me another bitch? Oh, by the way. He calls me bitches all the time. When y'all hear me call him bitch ass nigga, it's in response to all the times he calls me bitch. Two wrongs don't make a right. Instead of calling each other bitches, maybe they should have taken some of that money that they smoked up in weed lace fentanyl. All that money that they bought with them, them drugs, they should have taken that money and going to counseling. That would have worked better for them. It would help the relationship. Drugs are not going to help your relationship. So, folks, let that be a lesson to you all. Okay? Let these people be the example of what not to do when you are married or when you are in a relationship. Regina, I'm live on Instagram For the love of God, why she keep calling Legina into every little squabble that she and Gerald have? She has inserted this young woman, and this young woman only know her about a week. Legina know nothing, don't know nothing about their personal life or private life. So why is she in the middle? Legina don't have better sense to say, listen, I want to stay out of it. But she's going to come there and she's going to open her mouth. And of course, she's going to side with Jaguar because Jaguar is the person who supposedly got her back, but yet she stole that $7,000. Allegedly. This is all alleged. Oh, now he's he trying to guilt you that you didn't, you didn't warn him that I was recording? Okay. I want to ask you a couple of questions on camera, if you don't mind. Okay. Do I love my husband? Yeah, she does. Oh, you can love someone and still want to hurt them. But I see, that's not love. That is two people in a very dysfunctional relationship. 
And Angela just got there. So how does she know she love her husband? She haven't seen signs of love in this relationship, in this marriage. I haven't seen them once hug each other and say, I love you, honey, or kiss each other on the cheek or the forehead or the lips. Never, not once. This is not a loving relationship. The way they talk to each other is like if they're constantly at war. That's called digging up the dead to bury them again, okay? You assassinate the person by calling them out of their name, cussing them out, doing all kinds of stuff, saying all kinds of stuff, saying that you're going to go prostitute yourself, exchange for food, all those things. And then you talk nice to them when their feelings are so hurt and they're so wounded and you got to nurse them back to health, their emotional feelings back to health, only to assassinate them again. That's known as digging up the dead to rebury them again. Does, does Gerald support my family financially or do I support my family? All I know is you. How would she know that? She wouldn't know that. She doesn't have access to the financial statements to see how the money is transferred, to see his check coming in, if it goes into Jaguar's account or not, to see Jaguar's money if she's feeding the family and he's not contributing. Angela don't know squat. So whatever she's saying, clearly it's to soothe Jaguar's ego because she don't want to be kicked out and sent packing back to Detroit. All I know is you, I can't say for him because when, even when he tried to give her money, he said he give her money, but when she tried to use it, she's getting on her card, so... How am I making myself look bad, Gerald? It's very clear that I need to have cameras on me at all times. Nobody believes me. Nobody believes anything that I say. I say that he used choice words, but he used choice words. So. Although he uses a lot more choice words than I do. I only respond in retaliation because of the disrespect. You don't fucking treat people that take care of you as well as I take care of him. Even when she do feel bad, when she try to be nice to him, that's what he do. The nicer I am, the meaner he is. YouTubers, drop your comments on this video. What do you think? It is crazy. Jaguar and Goomba and their ongoing saga. Because Jaguar is determined to air everything on the internet. It's her ticket to get a YouTube check. She says it's because she has to have receipts and she has to have the camera going. Because... Everybody thinks that she's lying when she says certain things. That's her explanation. I think it's because of the YouTube check. And she's not the only person who is doing this. There are a lot of other people in marriages. As soon as they get a little fight, they got to put it on the internet. That's the times we're living in, okay? So drop your comments. I'd love to know your input into this particular video. I'm over and out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and to this video. Thank you for watching.